now we come to a concept called electrostatic potential okay we have just seen what electro uh, ele electric potential energy is right electrostatic potential energy is now we come to the concept of electrostatic potential and you'll wonder what is this okay where has the energy term gone suddenly right and you'll re realize that this thing is pretty close to electrostatic potential energy except for one thing okay now if i if i write the expression for expression for the work done in getting a particle from r to p it is this right it is this fine now fine now we said that if the if the particle is at r and say you want to get it to <coughs> p in face of a charge plus q here and this is plus q then we had seen that this work done is dependent on the charge that you are getting in right the charge that is being moved that decides the potential difference correct potential energy difference correct why because at all points the ch the, the force will be dependent on that charge okay so i again write it potential energy difference difference is dependent on the is dependent on the charge that is being brought in the charge that is being brought in okay fine so so let us try to tabulate it say if the charge is charge is q q and the work done is the work done is w then that is what the potential difference is is it not because 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 it is wrp which is up minus ur this we have seen in the last video right so this is work done let us say the work done is w now what if this fellow was getting in a charge 2q it will be it will be 2w no because at all the points your force becomes double that okay nothing else changes the displacement remains the same if it is 3q it is 3w if it is 5q it is 5w if it is nq, it is nw. Okay. So, so the potential energy difference or the work done in getting any charge from a point to another point is dependent on the charge that is being brought in and hence is not the characteristic of a system. Okay. So, it, it never depends on this understand that so so people will be reporting various readings for for the same point to point movement okay so seven say these these five people moving from one point to another they'll report different potential energy differences now that is bothersome why is it bothersome because 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 i, I don't know Someone says 200 joules, then I'll have to ask him what charge did you move in? What charge? So the charge has to be specified. You calculate it. Yeah, you can calculate it, fine. But all people will have different reportings, right? They'll report it differently. I'd like to know a standard. No? I'd like to know a standard. I, I'll, I'll soon come to that point. 
so so just just try to try to imagine you go to a shopkeeper and you ask the rate of something without telling him how much you have to buy no so the rates are specified as per kg maybe okay per kg or per piece hmm? per piece or maybe per ton or per meter no does it not per kilometer hmm? if it is fair this is maybe cloth maybe this is maybe maybe cereals in bulk this is maybe pen this is maybe sugar or for domestic use per dozen. per dozen right so what happens they specify the rate you have to buy 100 pieces you calculate what is the price okay now imagine not knowing anything and and or or uh, or a shopkeeper tabulating like this pen 1 10 2 20 3 30 4 what is the point in doing that why don't you specify only this and leave the rest to to the calculation you understand so we are trying to attempt the same thing here so what is one quantity which remains a constant if it is w work done upon the charge that you have taken then it is w upon q here it is 2w upon 2q so it is w upon q here it is 3w upon 3q so it is w upon q w upon q w upon q understand so it is a natural natural thing to specify it like this is it not mm -hmm. so let everyone do whatever work they do and divide it by the charge that they have brought in it becomes a constant you understand now what is the what is the benefit out of it the benefit is this i specify this so this is work done per unit charge okay this is work done per unit charge and i define it as potential so that is the characteristic of the charge configuration and it has nothing to do with this small q okay the moment i specify that then anyone is free to come in with whatever charge they want to come in with okay and how do how do they find find that potential difference or potential energy how do you find out the work done that work done is this quantity multiplied by whatever you are bringing in is it not so if you tend to bring 2q then you multiply this by 2q and you will become 2w <coughs> is it not someone coming in with 3q multiplied with 3q q q cancels it becomes 3w correct because in the first place first of all this quantity was obtained by by dividing the by dividing the work that you did divided by the charge right dividing the work done by the charge so now you restore it back you understand the concept so this quantity we call a potential try to equate it with the rate kind of thing or or you can think this what if this q is equal to 1 coulomb if it is 1 coulomb then whatever is the work that you do that is straight away equal to the potential correct so now we have two alternate definitions for potential both are the same okay it is just the way you are interpreting is is different okay so 
so we say so we say that that the work done divided by q is actually equal to work done is that work done is what up minus ur what is the work done divided by q that is up minus ur upon q and this this becomes absolutely independent of q this becomes independent of q which function this this work done divided by the charge that you are getting in that becomes independent of q and this this quantity is termed as potential is known as as potential but if there is a q in the expression then how can we say that it's independent hmm this this small q it's not there in the expression why is it not there in a sense whatever was the variation due to this got cancelled no on division that got cancelled it becomes a constant no it becomes independent of q you see you bring whatever charge you are trying to bring in the moment you divide the work by the charge that you are getting in immediately it becomes independent of the charge that you are bringing in but q will yeah. also have some value it will have No, because because it is there here also, no. Oh. It is it is here also, and you divided by that. It has affected this also, directly. So why why we do it? It's because it becomes independent of the charge that you are getting in. It gets independent of the charge that you are getting in. It becomes the characteristic of the system rather than the characteristic of the test charge that you are getting in. by test charge you should not think you are always trying to test something okay that is the charge that you are getting in fine don't don't think that way that i have to test something is known as potential denoted as v denoted as v okay and the unit is what is the unit unit is obviously this is energy divided by coulomb so it is joule per coulomb okay and 1 joule per coulomb and 1 joule per coulomb is 1 volt designated as v okay after volta okay that is 1 volt so it is nothing but joule per coulomb so i define the potential okay so i define the potential as this so potential is potential is what I'll, I'll first find the potential difference. Earlier it was. Earlier we had potential energy difference. Now we have potential difference, right? So, so try to think. This is the the this is potential difference. Okay, this is. potential difference why because it is between two points right you can call it delta v this is not the potential energy difference as long as r and p are finite points somewhere in the field how do i define the potential at a point potential at a point absolute potential
you understand what is w infinity p that is u p minus u infinity so w infinity p is equal to u p minus 0 which is u p okay now what is what is my potential at the point w infinity p upon q which is u p upon q which is which is v p understand this is vp so vp is equal to is equal to w infinity p upon q and this is the definition for potential at a point potential at a point okay you see, here I call this up upon q will become what? up upon q will become vp and this is vr. You see that. So this is the difference in the potentials of the two points. So it is potential difference. Okay, this will come in a big way when we go to electricity and start defining the potential difference of a cell. It is exactly the same thing that you understand then and you'll understand it is specified in volts. So it's an imperative for you to understand it at this point. It is the characteristic of the system and is defined as this. Okay, so how do I write the definition? The potential at a point P at a point P is defined as is defined as the work done per unit charge per unit charge okay in getting that charge from infinity to that point okay along any path understand along any path this will be along any path so we are in fact converting this into the words correct correct the alternate definition is again the same conversion okay so so I say now if Q is equal to one coulomb in equation 1 then we have then what do we have potential at the point P is defined as a <coughs> charge w infinity p upon 1 which is w infinity p <laughs> yes so alternately Alternately, alternately, potential at a point, potential at a point is defined as, is defined as the work done. 